Everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for week 16, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. All right, so we're getting down towards the end of the season, and there's still plenty of important games on the schedule. We're going to take a look at four of them, all involving NFC East teams. All four of those teams have a chance to make the playoffs. Two of them already have. So let's take a look at some of those games. As we'll scroll down through the list, you see it's a full slate of games. You can take a look at any of these that you like. But I have specifically focused on four matchups, and we will see the first one soon. You see, there's a lot of games. Okay, New York Giants and the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are coming in. Four and two over the last six, they are average up. While well, the Giants are coming off of a win and they are two, three, and one over their last six, their average status. Minnesota is favored with odds of 1.48 to 2.61, which is a line of four and a half points, and the over under is sitting at 48.5. See, Minnesota is giving a 58% chance to win this game. Uh, Vikings still have a chance at the number one seed, although a lot of things have to go right. Philadelphia has to lose, Minnesota has to win things of that nature, because Philadelphia has a tiebreaker over Minnesota. But they still have a lot to play for. The Vikings, uh, in the score prediction, 36, and the Giants 20, with 55% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the over-under, you see that the two teams have been combined in games over the line in, uh, let's see, it looks like 9 out of the last 12, so it's a good chance that this will be a higher-scoring game. We take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see that Minnesota is at plus 25, while the Giants at plus 19, both on a little bit of a downward trend there. The stability factor, you can see here that Minnesota is extremely consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status here at plus 10, while the Giants are not there at minus 1. Let's take a look at see if there's been any movement in the line through this week. It looks like there has been. If you look at the line here for Minnesota, it started at 1.48. One, you can see there's been some movement here. It went to 1.575, and then back to where it started, and then back down where it's been, you now. see a lot of movement, and then back down to 1.549, and back up to right, pretty much where it opened up at, at 1.48. So overall, even though there's been a lot of movement, it's back to where it started from. So if you look at the overall picture of this game, I think that the Minnesota will cover this game, and I think they will win in a game going over the line. Okay, Seattle and Kansas City. Here's the only game in, uh, not involving NFC East teams that we're looking at. Seattle comes in ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last five, two and four over their last six, coming off a 21-13 loss to San Francisco. While well, Kansas City is burning hot, they're coming off of an overtime win against Houston and five and one over their last six. The Chiefs are big favorites of 1.21 to 4.26, which is a line of nine and a half points with an over/under at 48.5. You can see there's a 76% chance here for Kansas City to win this game. The over-under has been pretty much, you know, like, let's see, three three for three, or three and three, excuse me, for Kansas City over-under. Uh, Seattle, four and two. They kind of probably avoid the over-under in that scenario. Good to score predictor, Kansas City, 34, Seattle, 25, which would be over the line if that would, be, would hold true. Take a look at the hot trends. Kansas City has won 80% in favorite status in the last five games, so that could be an important thing to take a look at. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you see uh, Kansas City is at plus 26, while Seattle is at plus 17, as they've been on a little bit of a downward trend. The stability factor, uh, Kansas City, excuse me, much more stable at plus 7 compared to 0 for Seattle. So if you put it all together, uh, well, actually, let's take a look at the line movement first before we put it all together. The line movement it opened at 1.23 for Kansas City, and then it went to 1.21. But you see overall very little movement. Uh, 1.21 compared to 1.23 is really negligible. So in the end, I think this is a heavy favorite uh, win for Kansas City. Kansas City will win the game, 
It, but it would not surprise me though if Seattle would cover nine and a half points is a is a pretty pretty steep uh, spread. Seattle could could cover, but Kansas City will win the game over the line. Washington and San Francisco. The Commanders come in average status. You can see that they're coming off of a loss to the Giants. While San Francisco is burning hot, they have won their last six. A huge favorite for San Francisco of 1.3 to 3.46, which is a six and a half point spread with the over under set at, I don't know what happened there, but let's get back down to the game we were at. Uh, here we go. Actually, that was two games. I don't know what happened there. Little uh, glitch here with the technology. Okay, here we go. And the over under is set 37.5 for this game. San Francisco has a 71% chance of winning this contest. Um, let's take a look at some other things here. The score predictor, San Francisco 35 to 19, with a good percentage in of the confidence of 76.1%. But take a look at this. The commanders have covered the spread in 80% in their last five games as an underdog. Uh, and San Francisco has 100% in their favorites in the last five games. On the power X indicator, you see both teams on the upward trend. San Francisco at 27, Washington at 24. The volatility oscillator, you can see here that San Francisco is at plus 6. Washington is at 0, which means that 49ers have been a bit more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end, I like the 49ers to win. And the commanders to cover, but I would pass on the over-under in this one. The final game we want to look at is Philadelphia Eagles and Dallas Cowboys. The Eagles come in at 13-1, and one, but you can see that they are a 5.5 point underdog in Dallas. Dallas has a 1.41 to 2.868 favored in the odds. And this is largely due to the fact that Jalen Hurts will not play in this game. So that gives Dallas a 52% chance of winning the 48%. And also, the Eagles only need a combination of one win of their own or one Dallas loss to wrap up everything. So the game's not as vitally important for the Eagles. Dallas will be a bit more desperate to get this one. Um, if you look at the over-under lately, uh, Dallas has been involved in games over the line, as has Philadelphia. So expect a higher scoring game. You would, you would think normally, but um, Dallas 33, Philadelphia 25, confidence in prediction of 71%. If you look at this here, uh, Philadelphia is at plus 30, while Dallas at plus 28 on the power ranks indicator. The volatility oscillator of Philadelphia is extremely stable at plus 12 compared to plus 3 for Dallas. And if you look at the line, you will not surprise you to see the big change in the line right here. Right? See, you see the big change in, in the line. It opened at 1.8, and now. Dallas was a slight favorite at home to start, but now they're a bigger favorite ever since it came out that Hurts will not be playing. So in the end, I, I think Dallas probably will win this game at home. Uh, but Philadelphia will control the ball on the ground to keep it close. I think it will be a lower scoring game. Philadelphia could surprise. I think they will cover. Not necessarily saying they will win, but I think they can cover this game uh, in a lower scoring game under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for this week. Happy betting, happy holidays, and we will see you next time.